Hey, I need to apologize for the first minute of the video you're about to watch. Um, I had the camera set on uh, some different things I was working on, so the picture kind of warps a little bit. It's going to go away after about 50 seconds, so hang in there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hi everybody, Bill here. Hey, it's Friday afternoon and I let my team of programmers uh, quit early today. So I've got a few hours on my hands, waiting for Lisa to get off work at 4.30. Couldn't get her to sneak out early today, she's too busy. Before we run where? Back to Disneyland Friday night, got friends to meet us for dinner. I've been asked to uh, show more about our life. I don't know what that means. Our life is work and Disneyland and wherever else we get invited to. So I thought since I had a couple hours before I drive down, I drove Lisa to work this morning so we wouldn't have two cars. Drove her to work, then drove home to work for my meeting, and then uh, so I can go pick her up for Disneyland. Um, but I think I'll show you a little bit of our lifestyle a little bit in the house. So let's continue. So I think from our other videos, people have seen our home. But uh, we live like little kids upstairs. <laughs> so even though we have a nice, beautiful home with a nice, beautiful master bedroom, um, we kind of live like kids. We kind of believe that uh, everything you couldn't do as a kid, now that you're an adult and have the money to do it, you should just do what you want. It helps you stay young. So, we kind of live in 500 square feet. <laughs> we sleep out here because it's more fun. Because we get home from late from Disneyland. We want to catch up with the Lakers. Everything in our house runs through this TV, our security. We have a computer hooked up. Um, when we kind of have kickbacks and friends over, we kind of have a slumber party. But here's something else you didn't know about us is we're kind of getting into gaming like everybody else. So I have a PlayStation running through a hop hog into the computer and um, I just started playing Gran Turismo 5. I hope I can get Lisa addicted to it too. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of this video is show you my setup and how I record my gameplay. So let's do it. Okay, so so here we are. We're in uh, Gran Turismo 5. I have no idea if there's probably Gran Turismo 20, but we're just going to start to play this here. Um, I purchased when I started this one of those uh, Toyota GT cars, uh, 86 I think they're called. They're like a Subaru BRZ or, a, or one of the Scion FRSs or something like that. So... We're just trying to get into this now, so let's go ahead and let's just play this race here. There's a Nissan 300ZX in, ZX, ZX in the race, a BMW 3, Mercedes-Benz. Click start here. Waiting on the game to load. There I am, I'm starting in sixth place, Bill Minold. Three laps, let's see if I can beat them. There's my car. I did, uh, put a little intake and exhaust on it because these cars are normally like 200 horsepower right around there. 205, but I think I have mine up to like 280. Get out of my way. So I am cheating a little bit, so the blue dotted line is showing me the line of course here to help me out. And then when it turns red like that, it means you're going too fast for the turn coming up. The lines aren't that clean, but I'm already in third place. I gotta do three laps of this. Come on, get out of my way, 
Hey, Beamer. Hard on the brakes. Get him. Alright, I think that's the Nissan 300ZX. Old school car for when I, when I was in high school. Oh, drifting. Go oh, get him. Oh no, stay on the track. Oh, locked up. Oh, got hit from behind. Come on. This car should be able to take a 300 CX, I think. It's the driver, I know. Cutting off on the inside. Come on. Push it. Metal cheating there. No accident. In gaming, you always get another quarter. Alright, we're on second lap, and I'm now in the lead. See if I can keep it. upper left there, the cars that are following me in the track. You can see the rear view mirror. But I've now got this one. Oh, one more lap! Let's see if I can hold them off for another lap here. This is too easy. I'm going to go to a upper level. With Gran Turismo 5, you have to do races to win credits, which is money. So you can fix up your car and, and you uh, advance levels. And then you win cars too for different types of races. And as you get better, the levels get harder. But I want to get Lisa to try to do this with me. You know, you gotta hang out and play with your best friend. Go. You can see in the rearview mirror and over here on the left on the gauge up there that you can see they're not very far behind. That I am barely holding them off. And I am driving automatic too, so making it easier also. I'm going to end the video here. Um, I hope that showed a little more of our life. <laughs> we have stressful jobs, so the moment we can get off work or whatever, our lives are all about fun. Um, so I'm getting ready here to head on out and go pick up Lisa and fly to Disneyland for the evening to hang out with some friends and have some fun. Um, in between rainstorms, we were there Wednesday night, then Thursday it rained. So we're going to go tonight after work Friday because you can sleep in on Saturday and it's supposed to rain through the weekend. Um, Super Bowl Sunday, uh, Lakers game tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed our video. Um, please hit the subscription button and please give me a, a like and uh, I'll get Lisa on here and we can destroy her at Gran Turismo. <laughs> All right, bye everybody.